Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going out to uh, take care of an apple tree that hopefully we can save it for this year. Uh, don't know if we'll be able to do that or not, but we're gonna try. Uh, last year, we definitely waited too long and some bugs, moths or something got in there, ate up our apples and ruined a really good apple tree that we've got. And so, We've probably waited too long again this year and uh, you just tend to get busy with other things going on and the tree is way out in our field so it's not something that we always see and look at all the time so it kind of gets in the back of our mind um, but we're going to go out there we're going to spray it with diatomaceous earth which is a powder you mix with water and it's supposed to be totally organic and it'll kill pretty much any bugs and i believe it's made from like rock dust or something but i'll show you the bag to it and stuff and how that works here in a minute we're only about halfway to where the uh, tree is at so like I say, that's kind of why it gets out of our mind because we just don't see it all the time. And then, so here we are at our apple tree. This is a Honeycrisp apple tree and the apples are coming along pretty good. They're usually ripe in late September, maybe early October. And right now, the um, we think that it's a type of moth that is getting on them and eating places in the apples and the problem with it is it, you know it's not just one or two it's almost every one of them will have a bad spot in it and last year places like that and last year they got really bad really fast and we're hoping that we can get these things sprayed and at least salvage what we have uh, to keep them from going to waste because these are really really good apples and uh, we'd like to either be able to make stuff with them or or even just eat them um, last or year before we actually made some apple butter and stuff with them and it was really good at our for our first time trying to make apple butter you know we thought that we could improve on it but then our apples last year did not survive they ended up getting eat up and then rotted out on us so we're going to spray them and uh, hopefully salvage the tree So you can see what the tree looks like now uh, after that stuff dried it leaves a white powder residue on there and that's what actually kills the bugs and stuff or that get on there which we think it's the coddling moth that's causing this and or that is eating our apples uh, is that's they say that that's the most common thing I guess that that eats your apples up we got most of the tree except for right up at the very top and we'll have to go get uh, some more of our spray and uh, 
or mix up another batch in order to be able to to get up there to that because uh, if i turn the uh the sprayer to a straight stream then it'll spray that high but whenever you try to mist it it won't spray that far so i done all the bottom first that i could get too good and then we'll just turn the stream to a or to a straight stream and then see if we can't get to the top you thought i had food didn't you tilly The stuff we were using to spray the apple tree, diatomaceous earth, and it's 100% natural fresh water diatomaceous earth. So this stuff is natural, and you mix it with water. To You mix one pound of the powder to one gallon of water, and then you spray it on whatever you're, you know, whatever you're using, uh, or whatever you're needing to kill bugs and stuff on. Uh, in our case, we're using it on our apple tree. It's supposed to be safe uh, for us. And when you spray it on, the liquid then dries and leaves the powder behind on the tree. This stuff doesn't actually dissolve. Like, it'll, it'll mix up in water and spray out just like water. And it, it kind of makes you think that it dissolves. But it doesn't actually dissolve. It just mixes up real well in the water. And when that water dries, then it leaves that white powder behind, and then that's what kills the bugs. This is what the powder looks like. It's just super fine, kind of like uh, flour. You would kind of think the consistency of flour. So we're gonna try that out and see if it works. So about the only downfall to this stuff is that um, it washes off when it rains. So with our apple tree the way that you know if you're spraying it on something like that then more than likely we'll have to reapply it after it rains um, to make sure that we continue to get coverage or protection from the bugs so hopefully this video helps somebody out if you're trying to find a way to kill bugs off of their fruit trees or off their plants or something that they just need to get rid of bugs on this is supposed to be a good way like i say it's new to us and as we go with this, I'll, I'll do another video a little bit later on and kind of let you know how the apples are surviving and see if, see if it's working out for us. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button uh, or if you just like outdoor videos. Also, make sure that you subscribe to follow along with us or if you want to follow along with what's going on around the farm all the time, um, click that subscribe. Hit the little bell icon beside that so you'll get notifications whenever we upload new videos. And thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.